What's up guys, Hybrid Mongoose here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. And as you guys probably already know, there is a bunch of new raid bosses in the game right now. And it's actually huge. I didn't expect this to actually happen. Uh, I know we were all talking about the, the, the fact that they should be actually, you know, rotating these guys around. And... You know, it's great. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, also, link will be down in the description below of the, of the article I'm referring to. Pokemon Go Hub has actually put out a very good list of all the different uh, Pokemon that are in the new different raid you know, tiers now. So let's check it out. And the article starts out by saying, Trainers, you may, as you may be aware, the bosses that are encountered within each of the raid levels have changed. Adding new bosses and removing some old ones, we can confirm that several tier 3 and 4 bosses are still in the game. We'll bring you the full guides to each of these tier 3 and tier 4 bosses tomorrow. While for now, we've prepared the list of new bosses. Now, guys, this is a huge deal. Um, some of them are kind of like questionable, like why did they pick that? Uh, but the most importantly, there are some very important ones that I said and suggested in the past that should be actually raid bosses. So that's actually great. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the list right now. And it starts out by going, new level 1 raid bosses are Ivysaur, Metapod, Charmeleon, and War Turtle. Um, the only one that I have to say that I'm very, like, confused on is Metapod. What? What? <laughs> Why is Me Metapod of all things? I mean, you have a tier 2, um, a tier 2, uh, you know, starter Pokemon, and then you have a tier 2 just Caterpie? I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they could have made something more useful probably would have even been Pidgeotto would have even been more useful than that. So Metapod is very questionable to me. I, I don't understand why that's even a raid boss. Uh, let's keep going. New level 2 bosses. Magneton, Sableye, Sandslash, Tentacruel, Marowak, Cloyster. That's kind of a weird toss up. I guess there are some that are kind of rare-ish if you uh, are new to the game or haven't gotten them yet. Especially like Magneton, Sandslash, Tentacruel. Some of those could have been actually harder to get at the beginning of the game it's been so long since i had my pokedex unlocked so i don't know but i know it, i didn't get those pokemon immediately or anything so maybe that's what they were thinking about the 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 level two bosses i'm not sure sableye i guess you could try to get shinies um might be your your reasoning for trying to go for that if you didn't get a shiny during the event uh, but anyway let's continue new level three bosses nine tails scyther amistar Porygon. The one that's questionable to me is Ninetales. Ninetales is very weird, but then again, like I said, maybe not the easiest one to get for people at the beginning, and maybe that's what they're thinking. They're thinking, hey, this will help people finish some of their Pokedex entries um, just by throwing out these different things. Um, raid 3, uh, it honestly looks like the Raid 3 bosses are easier than what we had to go up against before. I'm kind of sad because I was actually preparing to beat Alakazam solo, and now Alakazam is gone. <laughs> so, but that's okay. Uh, that's okay. Amistar, I actually really like Amistar. I'm okay with that. Scyther as well. Scyther's pretty cool. Porygon, hell no. Get out of here. <laughs> like, <laughs> Porygon, what are you doing? I, it's funny because Porygon was my last Gen 1 Pokemon I needed. And then after that, I just so done with Porygon. Just, no. Useless. Uh, now let's move on to the new level 4 bosses. Poliwrath, Victory Bell, Golem, Nidoking, Nidoqueen. Again, maybe thinking some of the Pokedex entries that are a little bit harder to get. Um, but, you know, Victory Bell is pretty easy. Poliwrath is pretty easy. Uh, actually, all of them are easy except for maybe Golem. Golem is probably the hardest one to get. And it's the, the, Golem is awesome at a raid 4. I'm very happy with that. Uh, it's really awesome. As you guys probably already know, there's a nest migration. And... Uh, Sadly, Dodge Park is a Geodude nest, but you can't get into it right now. Uh, you look, you look at the actual like sightings in that area, and there's like four or five golems at a single Pokestop, and there's a gigantic like seven foot fence around the entire park. You can't get in. So, <laughs> so it's a real big bummer for me because I would have totally made a nest video there. Uh, but yeah, it, it's just really sad for me that that that's that's happening. Uh, that I can't get in there. And the article continues to say, Evidently the rarest bosses are the best ones, so we, 
So we suggest you go for Golem, Legendary Killer, Amistar, A Beast in Disguise, and Porygon, Great Future Potential. Maybe you say, maybe you say Porygon. I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> we are still figuring out all the ins and outs of the new system and have full report by tomorrow morning. But as of now, the official, its official rates have changed. Time to farm that golem. That golem is going to be the main one that you guys are going to want to get. I suggest every time you see a golem raid, go for it. Um, we expect the majority of the tier one and tier two and possibly tier three to be absolutely soluble. That's 100% true. Uh, a lot of those tier threes look really, really easy to beat, uh, which is cool because I'm gonna make, I'm probably gonna make a bunch of solo videos on those, which is gonna have, you know, kind of extensive uh, what you should use and all that. Uh, while we have doubts about some of the tier four bosses, luckily it seems like the raid boss CP formula hasn't changed at all. As usual, when capturing the raid bosses, the encounter will present level 20 Pokemon with the varying IV values. Good luck. So that is a huge update, guys. A lot of you guys have been asking for it. The one things that I think that are missing is tier four, they should have had Dragonite for sure. Uh, Dragonite definitely should have been on that list of uh, of, of tier fours. Um, also, they could have even had fun with the, they could have got rid of um, Metapod and actually put a Pikachu or something like that, you know? Like these are just things that I'm thinking of that they could have done to make it a little bit better. Uh, tier threes and tier fours are eh, whatever, you know? I'm, you're never gonna see me do a Marowak or Tentacruel raid. I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. Maybe to solo, but I don't know. Even then it's kind of like, well, what's, if it's a worthless Pokemon, why am I going for it? You know, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, I honestly think they should have made Pikachu level one. Um, that way you would have uh, a couple shiny shots, meaning you'd have Pikachu and Sableye that you could actually go for shinies for, and uh, it would give you a reason to do the rank ones. And, you know, it, it would give you a good reason to do those. Now it seems like, well, you know, rank ones are kind of pointless unless you want or Bulbasaur candy, or Squirtle candy, or Char, you know, Charmander candy. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts on this. Uh, hopefully, you guys, go out there, get those golems, and have fun. Uh, and that is going to do it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.